What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Prevail. In this video, I'll be going over how I go about making the graphics for my Type B videos. I'll be showing the step-by-step -step on my process. So if you learn anything in this video, drop a like, comment, and subscribe. It's free. Without any further ado, let's dive right in. All right guys, we're in After Effects. So what you're first gonna do is you're gonna go over to this tab in Project, click Import, go to File, click on the beat that you wanna use drag that into your little source down here and what i do first is i always go to keyframe assistant convert audio to keyframes so it's going to turn everything into a keyframe and you see what we do with that and then uh after that i typically go and grab my image so i got this image right here so just type in like vector and then like head and then whatever you want so you can literally type in vector head like night or something and it'll pop in with like nights and stuff just whatever you want to type in right there so i got that image and then i went in photoshop and did all this so what you're what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on uh the little eraser thing you go to magic eraser and that gets rid of the background so just make sure like whatever image you do grab has like a stroke around it and is uh easy to uh take the background out because if it has like a lot of black and with it when you click on the background that's black it's going to delete the black that's actually on the actual image that you want and it's just going to look really uh terrible so just do that and then i just put a little stroke on it because it was normally like red if i take it off you'll see because i had like a little red stroke as well so i just took that out oops so then i grabbed that image so then after you do that and you render that out Go to import, go to file, and go click on that image where you saved it. Drag that in. I'll put it above right there. What I do right here is I'll uh I'll click on what do I do? Oh. Go to layer, go to auto trace, and then it'll auto trace uh around it. So then I just control click on it and then click control A, control C. So then you copy that, go to new, click on solid. I'm going to name this Saber. I'm going to leave a link to Saber in the description as well to all the plugins that I use actually. So then you want to drag that below and then press control V so that it puts it on. Go to effect, video copilot, Saber. Uh, go to render settings. Click on transparent in the com uh, composite settings. And then go to customize core, click on layer mask. So now it has a mask around everything. And then I I might do arc reactor on this one. So it has a bunch of little presets that you can do. So you can just do velocity. I use that one a lot. I've used nebula a couple times. Um, green energy I've done. But I'm going to do arc reactor in this one just because it fits it. And then... Try and either pick a color that's within the image or do just normal white. It actually looks really good when it's normal white. I'm going to do red. And then you want to turn down the glow intensity. This way here, it's not just glowing hard. It's just, you know, there. So I'm going to pull it up a little bit just to get a little bit more red. So there you go. You have that. And once you have that, that's pretty much done. You can just deselect that. And then you want to go inside your image. Actually, first go to all your amplitude, go to effects. You can delete the left and right channel and just leave the both channels. Uh, click the Alt key and then left click on the little time stop button. It'll bring up this little uh, box right here. I type in ease, value. Um, and you want to actually look at your slider. <laughs> So you just click this little graph when you click on the slider and it'll show the keyframes. So the 808s hit typically around 20. That's typical for every beat. So like 20 to 65. So what I'll do is I'll type 20, 65, 0 to 100. So that's just the scale of that 60 to, or that 0 to 100. So then that's done. So now you want to go into your image, go to transform. Click Alt and left click like we did before. Click this little, uh, it's like a little snail, I guess. Wow. And you want to left click and drag that up to the slider. 
and it's going to pair it with it. So then you go, uh, you type in plus, and then you want to go 100, comma 100. And pretty sure my 808s hit really hard, so I'm going to divide this by 2. So do a slash and then 2. You just got to fill it out, and because uh, some 808s hit really hard, so then it'll just bounce really hard. You don't want that. You want it to be smooth. So let's just see what this looks like right now. See, yeah, it's like not super smooth right now. So what you can do also is you go to your auto amplitude again, click on your slider, and then you press F9, and it'll like smooth out the keyframes and make them more a little, just a little bit more smooth. And you can also just divide this by three or whatever. I might try that and see what that looks like. good so there's that and then you want to do the same for saber so you want to alt left click open up your audio amplitude grab it up put it there and then do the same thing so 100 comma 100 and then slash three so then saber should be good now too yep so then there's that so that's just for the image. So the image is pretty much done. What I also like to do now, my boy showed me this. Shout out to Jaden. Um, you click on enable motion blur. And then you click on right on your image or whatever. Got it right there. So you click on this little spot right here. And it'll enable motion blur. So when it bounces, it has like a motion blur with it too. And then next up, I'm going to do, um, I'll do the background. So just type in background and then drag that below Saber. And I use Sapphire for all mine. So I'll leave a link in the description for Sapphire. So I typically go into render and I'll just go to like these little texture loops, like texture micro, texture more. I typically use, I think, I believe Flux. Yeah, I use flux a lot. So then you just zoom in. And then you can turn the octaves up or you can turn them down. I try to turn them down to one. And then we'll copy a color on that. Actually, I want that to be black. Copy a color. So then that. And then you go to this little offset and you can just kind of do that. And you can actually zoom this out too a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna I don't think I'm gonna use flux. I might use uh I think I'll use loops. Loops is pretty good. I was actually messing with this one earlier. Um we'll click red on that one. And then we'll go to the offset again. Kind of and then do like smooth. And we'll bring it up. Just like that. And we'll do like thickness. So we'll see what that looks like. I'm gonna take this down a little bit so it doesn't crash. Yeah. Kind of like that. What I used to do is you can actually go right here, go into uh, Kaleido. You put Kaleido above all of this. Well, let's go up and scroll. Let's so put Kaleido above, and then you can go back in. Go to Kaleido. Where's it at? Polar as well. So then it has it like that. Which looks pretty cool, but I don't really do that one much anymore. I just kind of keep it basic. 
keep it catchy. So there's the background. And then you could just really just experiment with all these little things. I've used all of these texture textures before. I'm just experiment around with settings and stuff. So next up what I'll do is I'll go to adjustment layer and I'll rename this. So this will be the S underscore shake. So it actually uh when a beat hits, it shakes the whole uh the whole screen. <laughs> So what I'll do is I'll go effect, distort, S underscore shake, and then we'll turn off this reflecting and stuff. I'll go to the X shake right now, and I typically change this. It's in between like one and four, so I'm gonna go with three on this one. Uh, y shake, I'll go down to like, maybe like 1.5. Um, I don't really mess with Z shake, I mess with the tilt a little bit, so like a 0.8. And then what you'll do is you'll change this amplitude. So I'll do like a 1.1. And then the frequency is what you want to focus on. So open up your audio amplitude again. And then you click on this effects drop down. Alt and then left click on the frequency. Drag the little thing down to slider. And then that's basically all you have to do. And it should be good. I want to actually make it faster, so I might actually bring I don't know if I want to bring it up the amplitude up. I think I'm pretty sure it's the amplitude that changes that. I'm just going to take off this background. <laughs> Might might be this. We do that. Mm, I think it's that. I think it is the amplitude. So we'll do like a three, maybe. Might actually go right here and do a little d divided by two again. I just wanted to quick, quickly snap on it. We'll do the motion blur on that too. Do the phase. phase you get the gist though this one i'm gonna have to really mess with it just to get it really smooth so after i get that s underscore shake um what I'll do next is think I'll it's pretty much done. So I'll do like a little fade in, fade out. So just go like right in the beginning. And then you click on this opacity as a hundred. Go about like three seconds in. So let's type three and then I'll go bring it to zero. So then when it comes in like that. And I mean, that's pretty much all I do. I just really experiment with a lot of things. That's what you guys should do. Just experiment around. Um, you guys will have the plugins. So, and I can, uh, I'll create a little, uh, 
template for you guys so you guys could just pretty much copy my settings off an old beat or something um so then yeah that's just basically the final product right there that's what it would look like looks pretty clean it's just pretty simple right now um trying to think of what else I could possibly do I mean before I used to you can do like a little um stylized do like a s underscore tv damage as well and you can have it like that or whatever and you just mess around with it you can just uh like the static bring that down but i don't think that looks really good i think static looks crazy like that and then the reception it's kind of like that. You just mess around with the settings. That looks pretty clean. That's gonna fucking lag my computer though. But yeah, that's basically it, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like I said, drop a like if you learned something. Comment, comment what you learned below. Comment what you liked about it, and uh, subscribe. It's free. So. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.